All right, here we are in a beautiful human Arizona day. It's a little bit warm, a little bit muggy. We're out here with a really special collection. Several Broncos will be coming up over the next year or so, or maybe a little bit more, but we're going to do two here today. Um, this particular Bronco is owned by uh, the S from uh, K Bar S, uh, Hal Sealand. It's part of his collection. This is a Bronco that he uh, chased for several years, um, picked it up. It was originally sold in Southern California or in California. We'll show you when we get around to the other side. We'll show you it has the original window sticker. It is documented. Hal got it and promptly went into a full rotisserie style restoration uh, done by someone here in y Yuma, Arizona. We'll get all that info. All the receipts are included with the restoration or the purchase of this truck. There's four CDs that I have to document and go through that I'll include some of the restoration photos of the Bronco. So it was California Bronco, uh, original warranty ID card. It is a verified Strop Bronco, Baja Bronco, 1972 Ford Baja Bronco. Uh, the conversion done by Strop, Bill Strop, shop. It was shipped there according to the window sticker, which we're going to show you here. Hal was actually a very integral part of the history of these Broncos and the early racing in the 60s and the 70s when it came to Baja racing. Um, this is a really neat unit. Uh, he's very knowledgeable about these trucks. It's, it's a true, actual Strop Bronco. I know I said that once, I'm going to say it twice. Um, has working windshield wipers on it. That's the factory hard top. The hood is, uh, it gets a little dusty out here when we shut the hood. Uh, it has what Hal, you said that was a cactus killer is what that was called? Cactus Smasher. Cactus Smasher grill guard on it. Uh, he said somebody had added a couple little extra light brackets here, which he left on in case somebody wanted to. It has CB lights on the front. Uh, that's the larger size of the two is what he had told me. Um, so there's a lot of love that goes into these. He really has a passion for these early Broncos. They only built Somewhere between 450 and 650, they didn't keep track of it over five years. They were all converted by Strop in a Long Beach area, uh, shipped direct from Ford to there, and we have the original uh, additional window sticker that went with it too. So we'll walk around and we're going to share it here with you. It's got a 302 V8, has an automatic transmission upgrade on it. They have upgraded it from stock so you can stop it, so it's got after added, bar, added uh, power disc brakes on the front very straight the finish on this from top to bottom is a base coat clear coat and the floor pans are just as clean as the rest of the car and the whole belly of the car inside and out we'll kind of give you a peek as we go around here just to kind of give you a level of the restoration but it's a nut and bolt restoration it has all new glass in it um, share that with you This is the sport badge and he's added the uh, strop decal here. Kind of get a little bit quiet there. When you look at something like this, I mean it's just really special. These things have soared over the past few years and this is definitely one that's in the Bronco registry. It is documented or the Baja registry. So it's the real deal. All new reproduction interior carpet. He did insulate the uh, floor before he put the carpet in and he insulated the headliner of the roof before he put the carpet in. Uh, reproduction interior. This seat folds up like it's supposed to. Here's the original documentation I have on the seat here. Um, it was shipped to Bill Strop and Associates in Long Beach, uh, Temple Street in Long Beach, California. There's the uh, added uh, Strop extras on this. Strop Baja Bronco package, automatic transmission. Anyway, we'll have pictures of that at Spud's Garage. Uh, Trovia, California, I believe that is. 98562. Anyway, original Certicard. card. Um, kind of give you a back here in the back. The, everything in the back is the same way. Level of restoration, uh, very nicely done. Refinish the Bronco roll cage, so on and so forth. We'll get over the other side. You're looking at a strop steering wheel, an original one, not a reproduction. I don't think you can get them. Very nice. Very nice. Anyway, always give us a call. We're good about putting these deals together. A lot of times there's too much emotion in them. Um, very nice, nicely done Bronco. If you give us a if you. Uh, 
touch base with us. We'll definitely answer any of your questions. And if we don't have the answer, we'll definitely get it direct from Hal for you. If you want to learn a little bit more about us, go to spudsgarage.com where there'll be plenty of detail. You might even already be on spudsgarage.com. Um, we handle a lot of nice, very nice, honest vehicles and uh, bring them to you safely, buyer and seller. Anyway, we'll keep our walking around here. Not a lot to say. We're going to spend quite a bit of time underneath the hood and the undercarriage here showing you more. It'll be short little clips of documentation, so on and so forth. A little bit breezy, a lot of warm today. I'm from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, so Yuma's not that bad for me. All reproduction uh, interior, all the latch and everything. You can see the level of restoration. There's absolutely no rust in this Bronco, Baja Bronco. This is the uh, original uh, door jam sticker that has been clear coated over, so it's not going to be peeling off anymore. They taped around it. They didn't peel it off. That's not a reproduction. Real deal. Anyway, that's an original Strop steering wheel. Padded is what they called those. You can't find them. The miles he had when he got the Bronco, it had a hundred twenty thousand some change on it when he got it. When he did the restoration, he set the odometer back to just twenty thousand even, so that he could keep track of the miles that he put on it. It's got two hundred twenty-eight miles on it since it was restored. Anyway, give you a feel here. The automatic's kind of a neat little feature. Starts and runs just fine. Again, hang on. We'll cover underneath the engine compartment here for you. There you have it. Nice to have a little automatic. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. Definitely hang on to the end of the video. All right, we're going to take a look at the back end here like we always do. We'll open up the trunk, if you want to call it a trunk. Uh, same level of detail. You're getting to the end of the video. You should have undercarriage up next. Uh, we're going to show you the, the finish on the back here is just as nice as the rest of the Bronco. Uh, very nice. All new weather strips, just like we mentioned. Uh, strop roll bar in it. It's all been repowder coated and cleaned up. Or painted, looks like power to coat to me. All the restoration receipts we'll have for will have that go with this vehicle. Jump seat in the back, seat belts. We're thinking you get the idea. Hang on to the end of the video for a little bit more. It's got a correct 302 Ford V8 in it. It does have power steering. It has been upgraded with, uh, you'll see the power brake boost over there with the uh, power disc front brakes on it. So you can actually drive it and stop it. Factory jacks in place where it's supposed to be. Hooker comp or super competition headers on it here. Look like they're ceramic coated. The intake manifold we know will have pictures. Uh, we have files that we're going to take back with us to the office. Uh, we're told that this is a uh, Shelby prototype intake manifold on it. Uh, it's a special manifold that uh, we'll share some pictures with you. We don't know a lot of history on that as far as that goes and don't think it was part of the original registration. It is a C6OE intake manifold. Again, factory power steering. 302 V8 C4 automatic. We're thinking you get the idea. We'll show you the level of the latches here and stuff on the bottom side of the hood. Thanks for listening. Definitely hang on to the end of the video and go to spudsgarage.com. All right, let's take a look at the undercarriage. We've teased you all along here. Very nice body off professional style restoration that's documented with receipts and photos. You'll see more at spudsgarage.com. Um, walk around and just show you the level of detail here. Uh, you'll see the floor pans. This is way nicer than it would have been new undercarriage wise. Um, new fuel tank components there. You can see the wheel wells here are just beautiful. The frames uh, finished in a matte black, factory style matte black. See the floor pans here. It is a dual tank model. Tank right there. Dual exhaust has been added with the Hooker Super Competition headers. Ceramic coated. See the rockers, everything. Obviously it's rust free. Inner fender aprons here. 
has had updated front disc brakes on it, power disc, which is a good plus and a good decision. You want to drop, stop this safely. This is an original, as originally built, original window sticker, original warranty ID card. I'm going to repeat that. We'll have documents at Spud's Garage. We'll also have documents of the uh, restoration at Spud's Garage. Take a good look at the floor pans here. Anyway, we appreciate you coming. Go to spudsgarage.com. Very special rig. Owned by somebody and had it and restored by somebody that's spent a good part of his life uh, in this industry. There you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. Give us a call. We're never any pressure. Here we are in uh, Hal's kind of little collection room here, and and just going to kind of share as part of both these Broncos, kind of an idea of the gentleman that owns these Broncos. He very much loves these Broncos. His it kind of starts his history starts over on this wall, right? As you were saying. Yeah, it's kind of winds on around. Kind of wands around and a uh, lot of off-road racing in his in his blood and K Bar S. Uh, John Cart, right? Was the uh, K out of K Bar S and Hal Seelin was the S. Um, knows a lot of early racers and and uh, interacted with Strop a lot. He's got a Strop Bronco that we're just showing you. Or uh, go to Spud's Garage and take a look at it. But there's early stuff here. This one's coming. That's, that's my Bronco, and it's uh, in the process of being rebuilt in Phoenix. Okay. Someday. Someday. Someday, someday yep. I'll be here. <clears throat> He's got little drawings of Broncos. We're not going to spend all day in here, but uh, none of this stuff is included with these cars, but we just wanted to share with you that uh, the collection this coming out, uh, these vehicles are coming out of is a gentleman that knows these very well um, and has a true passion for them. And we're, we're you know, honored to actually have a chance to document some of this stuff for Hal and uh, find it, have it find new homes. Um, this stuff in this room is definitely not for sale. There are display cases after display cases. Uh, there's score trophies here where they, uh, his team sponsored uh, one back to back, what'd you say, 78, 79? Yeah, wins there. Yep, all these wins trophies here. <laughs> Big Hoss, you know, he's been in magazines, cabinets here, the, a lot of El Gatano stickers in this one cabinet. Um, you kind of get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Um, picture Hal right there. Anyway, that was two years ago. That was two years ago? <laughs> oh, a few years ago. No, a few years ago. <laughs> this is mostly strop stuff over here. Cool. All right. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. Don't forget, give Brian a call. We're never any pressure. Uh, hires us to make keep it simple and keep the emotion out. Have a great day.